Right now we are at a, uh, a gun convention. I never knew that there was such thing here in San Diego. I think they came from Arizona or something and they're here for the weekend. Had to pop by and see what's up. Just so you guys know, you'll have to ask all of the vendors if you can record it. Okay, sounds good. Karen came out of nowhere and just tried to shut shit down. Go ask the, all the gun guys why at the gun show that the dealers can't sell guns. They can't sell guns they here? They can't sell guns. Only in California. Fucking bullshit. It's like your rights in California is completely trampled. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? A Smith & Wesson. How much is this one for? You are not allowed to quote pricing here at the show. It's a San Diego City ordinance. Can't sell anything or tell you prices on firearms. Are these just for, just for people to look at? For just day, yeah. What would the price be on this one? I mean, we couldn't even tell you. That's the thing. Can't you even give you roundabout estimations. We can tell you we have it. We can tell you it'd be pretty expensive. That's about as best we can do. Oh yeah, well it's good talking to you guys. At this gun convention that we're at, since it's a gun convention in California, there's a whole bunch of guns on display, but they're not allowed to tell you how much they are because they're not allowed to sell them. Which is kind of wacky, because a lot of booths here only have guns. It's a convention only for guns, but you can't buy any guns or they can't even tell you how much they are. California, man, California. I got guns, bro. You want some guns? Yes, bro, I need some. If I wanted to just buy one of these off of you, like how much would this one be? Depending on the, like, the type of AR it could be anywhere from about 800 bucks to three grand. Is it Red Dot? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's wild. Damn, that's sick. Get down, Ducky. Got his ass, got his ass. That's pretty good, huh? What the hell goes on in here? Dude, this is literally the cult meeting room. This is either a set for black or where all the cult members have their meetings here. What do people who have cults talk about? We will experience the further eternity of light. Follow me. Okay, what were you saying? Sorry. <laughs> what are these? Are these switches? Rights are taken away without even telling you. What did you do wrong? You didn't do shit. And you spend the time and the money and the effort to come down to a gun show. No, at the gun show, you can't sell guns. What can we do? People are all mad. At this show, I don't see return customers because the last time was the same thing. People come, they get mad. You don't see any return customers, right? No. No. As someone a part of like the, the younger community, because I myself, in my young 20s. I feel like for us and for people younger than us, as like one, we need to all come together and just bring back like the pride movement. And um, like we just need to bring back like loving each other for who they are and just. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, I didn't catch that. The pride movement. I feel like it'll help conjoin. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it have to do with anything that we're talking well, about? Where I come from, that doesn't exist. Well, I don't know even more, like, how did we go? What? You're saying that rights are rights. Right. If it affects gun rights, it's going to affect other rights. Right, like right, right. Like rights, whatever, LBGT rights and stuff right. like that. I'm 60 years old. Back in my day, if you're gay or trans, you got to keep your mouth shut. You right. You ask it. But it's never too late to realize, okay, everybody has to understand. They have rights. People need to support each other to protect their rights. I want to understand what was this gentleman saying with the camera. Oh, no, I think no, he, he's I an individual him, party. No, I asked him to, I said, you guys want to... I just noticed that he was following you around. No, no, no. Right, right, no, yeah. I was just kids. What's going on. It's just, oh, those were my views, not his. Those are just my views. He has his own views. What are you up to, man? Like, what's, you're here just to document with your I buddy? I think he's, or? well, he just documents for his own safety, I guess. What do you mean safety? Are you, are you afraid? I wouldn't say I'm afraid, no. Are you afraid? Be honest, a little bit. You can be truthful. I, I'm curious as to what is um, what is causing the fear. Maybe you're not as familiar with gun, with weapons or guns or something. Or he's nonverbal. So um, we grew up in like a really bad area, yeah, um, like a bad town in Chicago. And uh, like, do you know where Miss Down is? Yeah, I do. You do? I oh live wow. In Chicago. I oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. We unfortunately like were raised and with a lot of gun violence in our family. Chicago, man. Guys. Yeah, and look at um, the leadership there. It's absolutely destroyed the community. I'm not against guns. I want guns. What does that mean? Want? What do you mean you want guns? Like. Well, hold on. Well, first, everybody. first, I'm just touching up on this oh, part. Okay. Okay. Why he's the way he is. Um, Which is what. Um, fearful of this moment? Fearful of the, no, not just this moment, just like every moment. Just always fearful. Yeah, that's because you were asking why is he scared? He's just always fearful because, yeah, because basically one morning. Asked, like what you guys were up to and then you mentioned like fear. Yeah. And then it was 
feeling fearful. Yeah, because you were asking why he was like either taking pictures or recording. No, I didn't. Oh, oh, no, you. I was wondering what you guys are up to. Oh, yeah, we're just at the gun show. We're just walking around, same as you. Here's what happened. You mentioned this is for his safety. When he was little, he got a hold of one of my cousin's guns. Uh oh. The gun left his hand, and he couldn't talk or he could never hear since that day. And that's why whenever I bring him around guns, he always brings out that. And it just feels, he feels some type of way, I feel like. You know that they don't sell guns here. Yeah, I don't, he, he doesn't know that though. So I'm thinking like rather than have him walking around scared because he's mute, wouldn't it be easy to just little show him a little note that says, mm. hey, they don't sell guns here. You don't mm. need to be scared. He's smiling, so I yeah, think he yeah, likes you now. He feels safe it. around I you. Know, I know he does. We bonded. Good. Through the camera. I believe that you can fall in love with somebody just by seeing a video of them and through cameras. Mm. I slide in DMs constantly. You're a oh, avid I slider I DMer. Fall in love. I mean, he is actually looking for a significant other. Do you want his uh, Instagram by any chance? We'll, we'll, uh, we and I will we'll chat about it. Well, I will do the chatting because he doesn't talk. You're a pretty big, pretty thick guy. Now, are you trying to say that maybe I should start working out? Whoa, I would just body shaming. Okay, but you kind of body shamed me in the way. You got no. kind of gaslit me no, into no. thinking that you were body shaming me. You're basically telling me that I'm fat and I need to go to the gym. That's not gaslighting. All right, what you're doing right now is gaslighting. You're trying to gaslight me into not knowing what gaslighting means when I very well know what gaslighting means. So you're currently gaslighting. Uh, uh-oh, uh, 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 Okay, all right, now he's following us. All righty, this is crazy. Uh, all righty. This guy's following me and I don't know what he's doing. Could you please help me, sir? I'm gonna keep walking this way though and if he follows me then that is weird. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come on, Jackson. Is this where we go to stop Newsom? Which county are you guys? Okay, so, uh, so they're filming this like, YouTube video and they're just fucking with people. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. Yeah, heads up. He's telling them too. Just wanted to let you guys know that this guy's been recording and he's probably everything he said to you guys, he's pranking people. He's recording in there and I'm pretty sure whatever he's trying to do to you guys is pranking you guys. So I just wanted to warn you guys, yeah, he's yeah. been pranking inside and I caught him, yeah. so. Hey, would you mind signing on a petition? To, What's it for? To prank kids, keep kids from getting sex changed. Well, I'm a convicted felon, so. Are you um, parole right now? Did your number get X'd out? Not yet. Wow. Can't really do much, yeah, yeah. but. You know, we're just trying to save kids so they don't get sterilized. I'm part of the gay community. Right. And I have no problem with trans, many of my friends are transgenders. And they're saying, that's not okay for kids. What happened to Honey Nut Cheerios, you know? You see yeah. what I mean? Back in the day, we would wake up, have a nice bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios, and that's just how simple life was. Exactly. We gotta protect the kids, because if our kids are sterile, what's our future gonna look like? Would you mind like ste stepping out of the tent, though? Please, thanks. Does he work with you? Or... All right, well, it was great talking to you, ma'am. Thank you, and good luck to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, I gotta get signatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the? Okay. <laughs> 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 I think he gave me my talking bag. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dave? Dale. Dale, let's go. Dale, you got your talking bag. He was so pressed that he followed us out to tell people out here that we were pranking. Apparently there's a uh, professional basketball team here in San Diego. So uh, we're pulling up to one of their games. Let's go inside and check out what this basketball team's talking about. Just got some free popcorn. Had to do it. Apparently it's the San Diego Sharks. Now we're just gonna munch and enjoy this game. Oh look, there's a mannequin. San Diego Sharks, San Diego Sharks. You wanna do a push-up contest with me on the next break? Yeah, let's do it. Right You're gonna beat me, so. Uh, all right, sounds good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, bet. I think we're supposed to cheer for the white team. I think the white team is San Diego. What's your name? Uh, TP. TP? Yeah. Alright. Ready? Go! I guess I just won. Give it up for TP, y'all. TP yeah. has deep crunch. Let's that go. means you get what? Chick-fil-A, baby. You like Chick-fil-A? Let's go. I love Chick-fil-A. That's actually his favorite restaurant. <laughs> Eat more chicken, baby. Congrats. Eat more chicken. Let's go. I Have had, a good one. Thank I you. I had to rig that one. So would you technically say that, that you guys are uh, FaZe Ruggers? A who? You guys are technically FaZe Ruggers? I don't know what that means. <laughs> How much is on this? FaZe Ruggers? Yeah. How much is on here? Yeah. Um, 
I don't know. Are you a face rugger? Are you a face rugger? Hell no. I'll never face rug. Number two looks like Kasa Matt. I can smell you from here, number four. All right, guys, basically, I got the whole roster on my phone, so now I know other names. Now I'm gonna cheer them on, personally. I love you, Aaron Felix! He's going into the crowd! Nick Fleming, let's go! Come on, Nick! Oh, he shot it, he shot it. Oh. Next time, Fleming, next time, Nick! Nice shot, Demetrius! Nice shot, Demetrius! Let's go, Nick! We love you, Aaron Felix. Sip TV is the best YouTube, YouTube channel. I guess he's not in the mood. Fool said he's not in the mood, yeah. Hot to this bitch, pull up with a crew, yeah. Gotta make a noise as he can't make her do. Uh -huh. I'm so cold, I gave it a flu, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I chew. <laughs> yeah, I got her sniffling. I got her tires, not talking about Michelin. <laughs> no. You gotta do that in my ass next time. Dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? Follow us on Instagram at ZipTV. That way you can see when we go live. And there's like a, only a close group of people that follow us on and like join every live. So if you want to be a part of that group that joins every weekend and every live, because we go live before every video on Sunday, follow us at ZipTV on Instagram.